We are so, so grateful to be welcomed back to Habarone this year after the pandemic. And after three successful years in 2016, 17, and 18, we have returned to initiate our fourth arts education initiative. Um, it's been a remarkable experience. Uh, it's more humbling than I ever could have imagined. Uh, when I came here first, I was 20 years old, and it was definitely the most transformative experience of my life. My name is Kese Ramsden. I am 16, turning 17 next month. I have been doing ballet for going on to 13 years now. I am in love with dance and as I've grown, I've been exposed to different genres such as modern, contemporary, hip hop. Um, so I heard about Creative Borders. I think I was in Standard 7, 2019, so four years ago. And my music teacher knew I loved dance, so he called me and said, do you want to take, he called me and a few other of my friends who I do ballet with, to ask if I'd like to be a part of this opportunity. And I said, yes, I'd love to. We have covered so much ground. We spend our mornings working with different community partners. Um, these are people that we've been working with since the very first year in 2016, like the Ambrose Academy and Northside and Thornhill primary schools. And then we're starting to branch out into government schools and looking for youth studios like Mabala Youth Studios that offer space to local artists and entrepreneurs and businesses and making contacts with local artists like these filmmakers that are making this documentary and uh, composers and people that are aligned with the mission, which is to teach the tools of self-expression to people of all ages, from all backgrounds, with varying opportunities. Uh, we use community partners that have more resources and leverage them against community partners that have less resources to spread our message throughout the community. Our very first year, we were doing a class where there was something called the butterfly step. And we were doing it today, where we just we go around the room and we do the butterfly step. And some of the students that are nonverbal, we know that they're nonverbal. And on the last day, there was a girl that ran out into the hallway and she looked at me and she stopped and she went. And it just was this moment where, as I said, be on the biggest stages in the world and not understand the purity of what the arts can do in terms of communicating an idea, a message, a feeling. And a child who's nonverbal through the butterfly step or the busy bee step is able to communicate something to us. And that's why we're here. I think so well. I'm um, pretty great. I think apprehensive in the beginning, and then once you started the hello circle, it's just so a great start. Yeah. My name is Gerti, I'm the general manager for Ambrose Academy and these kids have stolen my heart. Each one with their special abilities and their individuality, every single one of them has got little ways of showing you how you are the best and how, they, how much trust they put in you and into the teachers and into the assistants to, to guide them, to teach them, to grow them. Each one of these kids have got superstardom in them and I want each person in this company as well as in Botswana to know and to recognize their potential and to grow that. We want the mainstream students to appreciate that those who are academically challenged can prosper in different areas and our wish is for everyone to accept special needs students in a way that will make them feel acceptable in their society.
Northside Primary School is an IB World School, and we're so grateful for the Creative Borders Workshop that um, they could come and do the workshop with our students here at, in Gaborone, in Botswana, bringing the world-class entertainment to our students. My name is Leila and I really appreciate that they could take their time and come from a far away New York to come see us here and now I want to be more of an actor than I used to be because of them. Thank you. Hi, I'm Tara and I just want to say I'm grateful for them letting us just have fun at the end of the day to enjoy ourselves and to let us like shake all the stress and all the things to go away. Hi, my name is Saliha and I just wanted to say thank you for this opportunity. You guys came far away and like letting us have this chance to like persuade in what we want to do when we're older. Maybe go to Juilliard one day. I have had a tremendous time here in uh, Botswana, uh, Gaborone to be exact. I would probably say a highlight of mine was visiting Mose Lewapula. That was an incredible experience. Um, the classrooms were a bit too small and I had it felt like hundreds of kids, probably maybe 70 something. And I acted on impulse, brought them out to the courtyard and we began dancing. It was one of the most iconic coolest things ever. Then afterwards, Austin led a, a dance a circle, I guess, or a party within the community, and it was just insane energy. I, I, I think I can still feel the vibration right now. It, it was insane. My name is Sydney McManus. Uh, I'm from Montreal, Canada, or that's where I live now. Um, Austin reached out to me a few months ago before this project was starting to ask if I wanted to be involved and knowing his background with uh, Creative Borders, um, it was an easy yes. And being here has just, yeah, reminded me how much I love teaching kids, how much I love being around young creative minds. Um, they have so much to offer and yeah, so much to share. It's just from my point of view as being a, a teacher, a part of this project is just offering them the space to really fully be themselves and um, maybe tap into stuff that they're not always giving themselves the uh, time to do. I thought it would be harder to teach students that hadn't trained in dance or movement before, but I actually found it easier. Sometimes teaching dancers in that similar age group, um, they have certain connotations for what dance looks like, what dance means to them. And I found that I could step into the classroom here at Maopula and find that those connotations weren't so firmly held. They weren't so um, rigid in that way. They were open to receiving information, open to trying something new and exploring with me. I was very fortunate to have people that teach me about dance and theater growing up, and that opened doors for me, allowed me to communicate and express the way that I was feeling. And that's why I really care about this. I think the arts are this way that 
speak across so many different emotions and feelings and backgrounds. It transcends everything. So if I could open the door to one child's future or ability to express themselves, that's why I'm here, that's why I care about this.